Oh boy, how long has it been since I played this game? Well, not that long actually, because I had to actually look through stuff because someone asked me about a thing. But anyway, so yeah, welcome back to more Journey to the East. This is an update. In fact, normally, I would just make this co some short compilation video of all the stuff that's in this update, because, you know, I haven't played this game since the other update, where they got where the, some of the instant death bullshit got removed. But, okay, let's just get into it. This version has a lot of changes. So many changes, it may as well be a different game entirely. With new content. Also known as a remake, basically. But anyway, I have my handy dandy notes that basically tell me all this stuff, so I write it all down. So first there's the journal log, which allows you to keep track of quests. There's new side quests to expand the lore. A certain character, who gets killed off and we barely learn anything about her, actually gets some backstory and closure to her plot. There's new areas and secret places to explore. New equipment, including some powerful dark weapons. More class weapon and special skills. Mini games and puzzles, new characters to interact with, and bosses, an update to the gallery, but I don't know about that, more in battle voices and music, TP modes are now unlocked, they're unlockable TP modes now, and there are pre and post credits at the epilogue. It's recommended that you actually play this on a new, new save instead of using an old one from a different version, so that's what we're here to do. Yeah! So I'm basically going to play this whole game again! I wasn't even originally planning to do this! I didn't even know this update was a thing until today! And it came out yesterday! So literally, I'm right in time for the party. So yeah, we're gonna play Journey to the East! A second time! And I don't know about how fewer instant death instances there are now, because, like I said, the version I played was literally like the first completed version, where there was still some of the instant death bullshit. But, we're getting right into it. I mean, this is, like, different because, like, I did this a year and a half ago when I was still using my headset mic, and now I'm using a Blue Yeti mic. So, we'll get right into it. And we're going to start with pro the prologue. During the age of the apocalypse, when the sun and moon disappeared from the sky and ancient tribes of man destroyed each other, Two opposing entities, known as the higher being, known as higher beings or gods, fought over the dominion of all life on Eos, the spiritual core of the entire universe, the birthplace of human beings. As one of their cruel and twisted plans, the gods manipulated two loving sisters, Lucerita and Ellis. Also, by the way, I'm bad with names, so yeah. And turned them against each other by bestowing with them each stone to power, known as the Akashic Keystones. Ellis, child of mortals, the harbinger of chaos, take the black Akashic Keystone and destroy the serpents of my arch-emesis Akon, the supreme being, the lord of light and order. Your sister Lucerita is a traitor and your enemy. Show her no mercy. The world will convert to the one true religion of chaos and worship Apos as the one true god. Non-believers are burning the hellfires in the underworld. Whoa. Oh lord, the astral plane, I beseech you. Please save my world from the cancerous power of chaos. Sarita, I bestow you all my knowledge and wisdom in this holy crystal. The white Akashic keystone. Use it to vanquish my enemies. The servants of Apos, the master of chaos and darkness, the source of all evil. Build an empire that will stand as a beacon of hope for all humanity. Spread my teachings to every corner of this good earth. And thus, an empire was founded on the day of the great goddess Akinessa's birthday. Its name, the Akinessan Empire. Nest oh my god, words are hard! Also known as the Golden Cradle of the West. Year Zero, the first year of antiquity. Your Holiness! Your Holiness! 
The Council of En... Enid cannot begin without you, Your Holiness. Thank you, Senator. Alright, here we go. We can actually move around, I think. Yeah, we can move around. Jesus Christ. I have always dashed on, so... Yeah, we're gonna move fast. Your Holiness, you must proceed to the Council Chamber. Okay. Oh, we're just there. Order! Order! The first Empress of our new Empire has arrived! All hail Lucerita, Empress of Akinessa, the Light of Eos! Please be seated, Sanders. We will now begin the Council of Enneed. We will decide how to deal with the heretics in Eastern Lands. Talk to the Senators, see what they have to say. Okay. The Chaos Supremacists are weak. They are no threat to the Empire. Coward! Who said that? Your Holiness, I am so undecided, but I'll make my decision soon. I say we dispatch all our armies east and burn the heretics! No, they're so good in Alice! We can save her from the evil! Surely you jest! She is completely consumed by evil! Boeing will begin soon. Decide how it is just to deal with the Chaos Supremacists. I to declare war, nay to make peace. Cast your vote in the ballot box. Oof. Go to war, or try to find a peaceful solution. As much as I love bloodshed and death and despair, I really don't think just mindlessly going to war is a good idea. But at the same time, I already know the Chaos Supremacists are absolute fuckwads. They don't really care, they'll just destroy everyone anyway, so maybe going to war is a good idea. You know what, no. I don't think it's a good idea. Senators, we will now count the ballot. The council has decided. Wait, what? There is one more vote. This guy looks evil. I am here on behalf of Princess Kia to cast your vote. Quickly, boy! We haven't got all day! Yes, sir. Oof. Alright, 29.32. The nays have it. The nays have it. The council has decided to leave the heretics alone in the east. We will not go to war. History would later reveal that it was the wrong decision. The Chaos Supremacists were left unchecked, which led to the birth of the Chaos Imperium. And thousands of years of war! Grow all freaking great! We screwed up anyway! Many years later, Zenic the Tormentor, the Archpriest of the Chaos Imperium, invaded Akinessa. Whoa! There will be no salvation for the infidels! Oh, mighty Minerva, goddess of the astral plane of chaos, offspring of Apos, grant me your infinite power so I can quash my enemies in the west. Chaos will reign supreme in Eos. You have done well to lead my army, loyal servant of chaos. I will enter the realm of mortals and claim it as my own. The ethereal god eaters from the darkest corner of the astral plane will be unleashed. Nothing can stop the invasion, not even that bastard child goddess, Akinessa! It was a one-sided war, which destroyed half the world. Year 55, the last year of Lucerita's reign. Your Holiness, do you still want to do this? We're near the top of Mount Cellstar. I cannot turn back now, Pentu. I must return the Keystone to the gods. The world is ruined. Why well, did not accept it from them? Please do not blame yourself. The fault is mine. Fifty-five years ago, I should have voted in favor of intervention in the East. We would destroy them when they were weak. Stay safe, my liege. So, yeah, we done fucked up. We can't talk to you guys. Can't talk to any of you. Oh, he just walked straight forward. Why are you here? 
Why are you here? Consider your answers carefully. What you say here will affect the rest of the game. Oh boy. I am here to return to Keystone. Why? I don't want my people to suffer. The Keystone's power is dangerous. I want to rely on my own strength and not others. Can absolute power corrupt humanity? I mean... Power as a whole can corrupt people. But maybe there's the possibility that if you know how to use it right... Do you believe that humanity is weak? No. Humanity can do a lot of things when they work together. Is evil necessary in this world? In order for good... Honestly, I think, yeah. Is God needed in order to maintain balance in the universe? I don't know. Who is this girl? Her identity is not important. What she will do is what matters. She does not exist at this point in time, nor will she exist in the future unless you sacrifice something that you value. But what would she do if she existed? She is the one who the universe yearns for. She is the one who will triumph over all possibilities. She may be our last hope. Now, the final question. How much are you willing to sacrifice to ensure her success and existence in this universe? Give too little and she will suffer for all eternity. Think carefully. I think when I did this the first time, I chose life. Because sacrificing your life is the ultimate sacrifice. Life's a precious thing. But I think... If that's what it takes... We should use it. So be it. And now the story continues, 6,000 years later, in the quietest corner of the world. The little fishing town of Galeport, and the peaceful nation of the Prismana Union. Oh, we get the map in this version too! Okay, so I know in the demo of the second game we get a map. I accidentally clicked a different key. So we have a holy site, we have others, and we have towns. Yaleport is a peaceful fishing town located in the northwestern part of the continent. Far away from the far from the military frontier bordering the hostile nations of Chaos Imperium, it has seen no wars for a hundred years. Until now! Oh, in we go. Year 6056, day four, month four. What if she remembers? She won't. I've sealed her memories. Cries. We must leave this place, milady. They're catching up to us. Be happy here, my child. I know they go in their own directions. Where is this child doing here? There's a letter, but stained in blood. I plead with the person who is reading this. Please protect my daughter, Risa, with your life. Keep the family heirloom safe until my daughter's come of age. Do not show it to anyone. Her true identity must be hidden at all costs. She has many enemies in the Eastern Lands. Poor child. She misses her parents. Alright, I will raise her into a fine young woman. Someday, you will reunite with your parents. They will be so proud of you. I'm getting Eternal Twilight vibes with this music. Who am I? Why am I here?
Where am I going? That's a good question, because not even I know. Well, I mean, I do know, but you know what I mean. Eight years later. Dream? I was in a palace. It was snowing. Where was that place? Huh? What was that? Looks outside. Something strange is happening. I need to go outside and see what's going on. Alright, character research has been added to the journal. And we can open the menu and, you know. Once you change the keyboard configuration, the menu key is X. So yeah, that's actually a thing! This game actually does have keyboard configuration now! I don't think this was a thing before! And I'm just gonna use the default layout because, yeah, it's better than everything else. I don't know why we don't start at full HP, but, you know, whatever. So we have Recess Journal, which <laughs> records our main quest, side stuff, info, tutorials, and characters. But we don't have any other characters except Risa. An introvert. I have little knowledge of the outside world. Hobbies are drawing, cooking, and singing. Alright, so we have Risa's Wisdom. The escape button option, food and drink, battle commands, and just basic stuff. And our current main quest is to journey east, which is like a five-star mission because it's gonna take the whole damn plot to do. Alright, so we gotta survive the war. So, be sure to check everything. Like, literally, check everything in this game. There tries to be in stuff and places. So we're gonna get out of here. Katoran RPG. A famous writer in the 21st century. Wrote a book, story called Journey to... Ah, the writing is illegible. 21st century? When was that? The Stone Age? Soxy's wife. Okay. Bologna and Petrocotia were once a single nation ruled by a monarch. The country split into two during the Reformation because of the differences in interpretation of civil vanity. Musumita is the first empress to rule over the Akhenaxian Empire. It is the longest continuing hereditary monarchy in the world. Huh. We got a gold ring, and I'm honestly going to put that on right now, because we really don't have anything. And it increases our luck by five. Okay. Something's better than nothing, am I right? Anything on this desk? Nope. Alright. Let's go. Heh <laughs> Looks like nobody's home! I can loot this place! Hey! There's somebody here! I'll have to kill her first! How do you know it's a. Well, never mind. Doesn't matter. We're gonna have to fight. Here we go! I mean, we have no weapon. So we're gonna have to slap you to death. A scrawny brat! <laughs> Wow, that actually did damage. Wow, we killed him with our bare hands! <laughs> First blood! And some heals. And a revive. You bitch! And so, Reese's story began. Alright, chapter one. So, wait, is that like an. I wanna see if that's a thing that we got. Items for glory, a trophy item to commemorate the first kill. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure glory items were not a thing prior to this update. So I need a weapon to protect myself. I think I can find one in the basement, or we could just check everything and we get five curious. So curious are basically uh, healing items, and eat those are MP restores. Nothing found. Okay, but yeah. Really make sure to check just about everything. Because we got an onion and cheese. The Prismani Union is a maritime nation. Its capital is the city of Rotisola, located in the southeast of the country. Okay. The Prismani Seraphan is a pre dress. Pinafore dress, traditionally worn by women and children. I'm pretty sure that's what we have. Yeah, we have the very rare Seraphan. The traditional dress of Prismani, not like, and we can't remove it. A sausage! Okay, cool, thanks, man. 
Alright, down here in the basement. Some bread. More money. A switch to open the door. We got more heels. A carrot. Okay. Uh I don't know the combination is safe. Picture one has been unlocked in the gallery. There's 60 pictures in the game. Unlock them all, they have to a rare item. And we got a weapon! Put the dagger by opening the menu and select the weapon. So what's this? Oh, this is the save point. Okay, we're gonna save. God's power, none. And we are still over. And as always, I need to point it out. I need to go to status. I need to point it out. Risa is still unhappy. Still. Even after... What, like, 14 episodes? 16 episodes? So I don't know the combination of the safe. You can check the picture gallery. And we literally get this cool little map now. Okay, that's cool. There's the ice ways. There's the Prismani Union. We are all the way over there. Okay, wow. So where's the chaos? Okay, there it is, up there. In Hellscape McHellsville. So yeah, what's the... I don't know what the combination of the safe is. There's probably something that tells you what it is. So I'm gonna go look around a little bit, see if I can find it. Cause you never know, something might be useful in there. Um, excuse me. Bro, I just looked around this whole place and nothing about a safe combo. Nope. I thought it was going to be the day, but it's not. That's a different one. Alright, well I don't know the safe combinations, so we're just going to leave. I said we're going to leave! We're already saved, so we're fine. Oh, crap. Please, somebody! And, ha, pathetic. I'll gut you like a pig! Ha ha ha! Let's see if she's got any gold. Alright, stay up in Amy's life of life. You want to avoid fighting them, they'll chase until you're out of their range. Locked. Locked. So the thing about this game is that enemies scale to your level, similar to how Final Fantasy VIII has enemies that scale to your level. Alright, there's a lot of dudes over there. Ooh, chest. Alright, got a Curia. So I'm curious about is if I can find him. Alright, so we want to go east. Turn right around. Good. He's dead. A cheese wheel. Alright. Yeah, there's really nothing here. Alright, let's just get out of here then. 
I think we need to go this way? No. This way? Whoops. Okay, now we do damage! And then I missed! Okay, great! He's dead. Cleaved him in half. Soldier dog tag. Oh god. Alright, swordsman. I have a dagger. I am not afraid of you. We don't have any weapon skills, but we can also steal. Eh, he's got nothing good. Let's just murder him. Alright. Um, whoa there, buddy! Don't give up. Okay, yeah, you're a bit more intimidating. Wow, you're pathetic! Dude, he went down like a joke! Okay, there's more dudes. So how do I get out of here? All those soldiers! I'd be able to see past if I keep my distance. Oh crap! Walls! Walls I have keep out of distance! It's a good thing enemies are super weak right now, otherwise we'd be dead! Alright, we're also getting heals. Alright, whoa, okay. So that's the right way. I'm about to get, like, assaultified. Alright, I'm gonna wait for them to move. Alright. An orange. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Here we go! I love how the swordsmen have more health than the knights. You would think that knights, dudes who are supposed to be trained for combat, level 2 by the way. So what's this? Nothing. Alright, this isn't even the right way. All those over here is a chest. Alright, so this is the right way. Hey, are you okay, mister? You're Alexis Foster Child, are you not? Yes, it's me, Risa. Look what we have here! A little mouse tried to escape! Oh, great. DIE FOR OUR GREAT LEADER! Let me just slowly walk over to you first! Oh, goodbye. I might need to heal soon, because I'm pretty sure the first bot's coming up. Oh, yup, here he is. Stairs to his dark crystal. I have come from a country thousands of leagues from here. My crystals detect their great power in this town. Who are you? I sense you have that power! Give it to me now! Alright! Acolyte of Chaos! This guy is actually kind of scary. That power is mine! Oh, that's scripted. No, I can't die here. A warm aura envelops Risa's entire body. Risa's power awakens! And now we're in Esper! What does this light? Okay, so we have 2 HP, and now we have Esper powers! This does something, so let's use it! I can feel it. Something is burning inside me. I can do this! What?! <laughs> and then we just do so much damage, he gets annihilated in like 0.5 seconds. And we got overkill and a bunch of other junk and money. You. You. The power. It can't be. I know what it is! And he blew up! Risa absorbs the enemy's ability, and now we have pyrokinesis. What happened just now? Burning inside me. It's disappearing. Oh, you are right, young lady! Listen, you have to escape! Head south towards the capital! 
Avoid enemy patrols along the way! You'll be safe there! Why are they attacking us? They are soldiers! On the elf! And he's sad. Alright, we are stronger now. And bread. Our health is still incredible levels of low. Can't go in the well, this is not Shattered Hourglass. But yeah, now that we have our goddess power... Have you heard the story of the goddess Akinessa? Almost everyone at Eos has heard of it. It forms the basis of Akinessa and et... The words. The most widely practiced religion in the western sphere of the world. It began after Lucy to return the keystone to the astral plane 6,000 years ago. The Wars of the Ancients. Athos, why do you bring suffering to the human world? Disband your army to never return! Aha, so the Great Mother Goddess has shown herself. Your end is near. Can you feel it, my dear Isis? The sun has grown cold on your face. Death is inevitable for you and your kin. As Eos was engulfed in the flames of war, hearing the plight of the human world, Isis, the great mother goddess, sent her children to stop the war. Five celestial armies were sent through the Eternal Gate, a transdimensional corridor that connected Eos to the astral plane. Led by Akinessa, the heir apparent to the throne of a million stars of Heliop Heliopolis, the seat of power that governed the astral plane. However, they were betrayed by their own armies as they defected to Minerva's cause. Cornered and outnumbered, Isis's children fought gallantly to the bitter end and fell in battle. Akinessa was slain by Minerva's infamous sword, the Inferna Magna, the astral world plunged into eternal darkness. Apos was victorious. <laughs> the heir to the throne is dead! Your bloodline is no more! Save at this moment to victory if you wish, but it will not last long. I shall have my vengeance, in this life or the next. Saddened by the deaths of her children, Isis destroyed the eternal gate, along with the armies of chaos by using the keystone. Rolling crossed her immortal status and became a mere human in the process. Nobody knew what happened to her after Eos was saved. Some say that she died of her wounds. Others that she found refuge on Eos and lived out her days as a mortal in solitude. As for the heir of the go fate of the goddess Minerva, who disappeared after the battle, was the biggest mystery of Eos yet to be solved. The legend of Akinessa, the tragic goddess, was one of the most popular stories among the people of Eos. They believed that, one day, the great goddess would return to lead her people from the darkness, and finally ascend her rightful throne of the astral plane. Alright. Tisla, the capital of the Prismani Union, is southeast from here. We need to keep moving and avoid any contact with the enemy. Do not approach any enemy battalions on the world map. Alright, well, we can't save on the map. Which sucks, and yeah, that place is getting murdered to crap. There's some, there's some forged here. Time accelerates ultra fast on the map, so can I go back? Oh, well, shit. Um, well, you see, here's the thing. I can't save on the map. Crap! I can't save on the map, so... Yeah, that's great. Okay, so we're just, let's see if there's a save over here. I wish. It's so cold. I'm so hungry. How far is it to the next town? Hopefully we can find it soon. I mean, there's a place over here. I can't go over there? Well, there are these mountains in the way, and there's an abandoned mine. 
Well, here's that sound over here. Okay, whoa, that just popped in weirdly. New in town, are you? You should visit my folks in the little house by the river. They will teach you how to survive in this harsh world. Um, thanks, random old man. But I'm looking for the save point. Um, yeah, that's not where the save point is. But anyway, we are going to end things off here as soon as I find the save point. Uh, I don't know where it is, actually. Like, at all. There should be, like, a hill spot somewhere. Oh, here we go. Anyway, next time, on Journey to the East, version 3.01, where Risa is still very much unhappy, we are going to do more of the stuff and things and explore what this place has to offer. I will see you then.